Hey, welcome to the Low Code Show. I'm your host, Russell Youngblood. And if you have been building mobile and web applications even for a short period of time, you probably already understand the importance of communicating and sharing information with other systems. And the good news is that OutSystems makes this as easy as possible. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to expose a REST API. And then in the following video, I will show you, show you how to consume that same REST API in a mobile application built with OutSystems. So if you're interested in this topic, let's do it. So I'll get started by creating a new application. And I'm going to start from scratch. Once I click the next button, I have the option to choose reactive web application, and that will be fine. And now I'll give the application a name. I'll call it something like products API or products rest API. That sounds good. And once you've given it a name, a description as well, you can click the create app button. And on the next screen, we'll need to choose a module type. Now in the past, we might have chosen reactive web app or mobile app. But in this case, we're going to choose the service module option. And this will create a module that is specifically designed for something like exposing a REST API. So this is a good option for this particular project. Now, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get some data. If you haven't seen this in a previous video, there's an accelerator which will allow me to very quickly import information from a spreadsheet. And I do have some products in a spreadsheet. I've used this same spreadsheet in a couple of the other videos. It is connected to a link on this YouTube video. And once I import it, we can see all the different products and the attributes. It also creates a structure that we can work with. And if you scroll down on the data layer, you can see that structure as well. Now we'll go back to the logic layer and create the REST API. I can simply do that by right-clicking on the REST and choosing Expose REST API. And we'll go ahead and give that REST API a name, maybe something like Products. And this API is going to expose all of the products or the gadgets in our database. So we'll uh, give the method a name that could be Git Products or Git Gadgets. And then what we'll do is add one output parameter to our API. And we'll need to give that a name as well. So I will give it the name All Gadgets. And this REST API will be designed to expose all of the products or all of the gadgets that we have in our catalog. So we're going to need to give it a specific type. We'll scroll down and find list. And then we will point over to the structure that maps to the list output. And we can expand that just to double check and see that all of the attributes are there for us to use. Now back to the data layer, I'll go ahead and scroll back up. And I can drag and drop the entity over to the action flow. And that will create a simple select SQL statement in the background that gets all those products, or in other words, all those gadgets. And finally, I just need to add an assigned statement to the flow. So I'll go ahead and I will set the output parameter, the variable of all gadgets, so that it maps to the output list from the aggregate that I just created. Or in other words, that SQL statement that will get all of the products and bring them back in a list. So once that's done, we can go ahead and double check that everything is OK, no errors, and then publish our application to the server. So we'll give this a couple of seconds to publish to the server, and then we'll take a closer look at what we've created. We can do that by going back to the logic layer, right-clicking on the, the API, and choosing Open Documentation. And here, you can see the Swagger file, or the REST API documentation, which includes the request URL, the HTTP status code, response message, and over to the right-hand side, we can actually see the JSON structure that we'll be working with. So in the next video, what we'll do is we will use this request URL to bring the products or bring the gadgets into a mobile application that's created in OutSystems. So stay tuned and check out the next video. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, please follow us on YouTube. You can also follow at Twitter.com, The Low Code Show, and of course, Facebook.com, The Low Code Show.